following program is sponsored by CBN. Coming up. We really went into a tailspin. This family was underwater. I can see the numbers. We're going to be in the red. And staring down foreclosure. We're so far in debt. See how a phone call. Watch what I'm going to do. Changed their financial future. And that year, the floodgates were open. On today's 700 Club. Up next, talk about a sweet deal. This man started a honey farm to help feed his family. How did he become the official beekeeper of the Winter White House? Plus, helping those who can't help themselves. How are the at risk getting what they need when they can't even leave their homes? When the housing market crashed, Steve and Sherry fell deep in debt. Even if they sold their property, they would still owe another $200,000. The couple say they were in a tailspin. And here's how they found their way back to ground level. Prop clear? Wow. It's like actually you're like 10,000 feet closer to God, you know? <laughs> a computer consultant. Steve Byers enjoyed his side business of buying and selling planes. He and his wife Sherry also invested in multiple rental properties. Things were going well. That encouraged us to stretch a little bit. And we were looking for real estate here in Florida. Then we came across this one. Wow, that's my dream. I love flying and this one has a hangar in the backyard and a runway. That was a real blessing. I feel like God provided in that way. Yeah, we were prospering. Things changed when the housing market crashed. And then we realized the pains of borrowing. And when we had to sell a property and it was worth $200,000 less than we paid for it, we really went into a tailspin. I can see the numbers. It's very clear on the computer that we're gonna be in the red. Even if we sold all our houses, it wouldn't solve our problem. We're so far in debt. Redditors began calling in their loans. Now they faced foreclosure on another property and wondered if their own home would be next. Steve decided to call CBN to ask for prayer. They'd pick up the phone, he could feel the power of the Holy Spirit, barely able to tell him the situation. And uh, they said, well, let us pray for you. And that just really invited God in. And he just said, he just heard that, that quiet voice. He says, be still and know that I am God watch what I'm going to do. Steve and Sherry worked hard to keep food on the table, including starting a honey farm. They put everything they could into paying their debt. It came down to rolling quarters sometimes. We've got chickens to lay eggs because I figured if it gets any worse, at least we'll be able to feed the kids eggs from the chickens that we have. Despite the financial struggle, they felt it was important to tithe and give to Christian ministries. They became CBN partners in 2008. One of the promises that I held on to is Malachi 3.10. See if I don't open up the windows of heaven so much so that you won't be able to contain the blessing. As we continued to tithe, it seemed like we would get a check come in just at the right time. Something would always happen at the right time to turn it around and we always had enough. Steve held on to the promise in Malachi and they continued to tithe. In 2014, Steve and Sherry decided to increase their giving little by little. The New Year's resolution was we're going to start at 10% and each month go to another 11, 12, 13, 14%. I think we got up to 15%. And that year in June, the floodgates were open. I mean, it was awesome. We were able to settle the foreclosure, uh, resolve another foreclosure. One of those victories came when a friend offered to help Steve buy a plane. Steve had left computer consulting to work as an independent insurance adjuster. The plane allowed Steve to fly into areas in Florida, devastated by Hurricanes Irma and Michael, helping people with their insurance claims. What would normally take a person 11 hours to get to this area, and I can fly in there in two hours, people can't get in there to help because all the roads are blocked off. I can fly into ground zero. Now the buyers are debt-free and have settled their foreclosures. Steve still enjoys buying and selling airplanes. 
They used their beehives to start a successful business called Bee Healthy Honey, and the official beekeepers for President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort, and they're still giving to CBN. I like giving to CBN because they're so accountable. Operation Blessing is exciting to see them go in and help when there's a disaster. Superbook has been a great encouragement. It actually surprises me how much I get out of it. They're also thankful for God's faithfulness. We're just stewards of His kingdom, and He owns it all. I want people to understand that the Lord provides. So if you have a need, lay it out before Him. Say, Lord, uh, this is a need, you know, and He will provide.